So the last primitive I want to present to you for this week is the HKDF, the hash-based key derivation function. But for that I want to first talk about what a key derivation function actually is. Well, KDFs are a quite useful tool in cryptography because they can turn shared secret into actual key material. So, let's say we're doing an uh, elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman, so we exchange uh, Diffie-Hellman key, but this m key material that comes out of the elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman is actually an elliptic curve point. So, elliptic curve points, they, it's strong, so an attacker can't guess it, but it might not be uniform. Some bytes in it might be more likely than others in some positions, so we can use a KDF to turn, for example, an elliptic curve point into a key that is really uniform, uniformly distributed. Every, every bit is equally likely. Um, another thing we can use KDFs for is to stretch keys. That is, if we have enough key material in terms of the key material is good enough, but we need it to be longer because we maybe want to turn one key into two keys. Then we can stretch using KDFs. And a very simple form of a KDF is the HKDF, which internally uses the HMAC construction. So it's quite simple. We have uh, different inputs and different steps. We have an input key material, salt info and length, and uh, sometimes the HKDF is actually split up into two different functions. So in some libraries you will see two different functions called HKDF extract, which turns the salt and the input key material into a pre key and an HKDF expand, which turns this PRK into an actual stream of key material. But it's just for you to know that sometimes it's not one HKDF function, but in some libraries it's actually two. So the input parameters are the input key material. That can be, for example, an elliptic curve point or a finite field uh, element from a finite field of Hellman, something like that. A salt value that can be used for additional randomness, but is usually, if it's used, uh, deterministic. Um, and as application specific information string that can be anything that the just the application wishes, wishes to include. And the desired output length that is the length of the output key material. So here we have the Output is the yeah, output key material that can then be directly used as key because it's uniformly. Every byte and every position is equally likely. And so this construction works by using the HMAC on the salt value and the input key material, where the salt value is actually the key in the HMAC, and then having this PRK value and then essentially iterating over the value t, which is in the beginning empty, plus the info string, plus the byte value, the single byte value, so 8 bits of the iteration number, and using prk as the key. And that we set to t, and then we append t to the output key material. And that we repeat, and always only the iteration count changes until we have enough output key material for the desired length, and then we return the output. And this is how you can turn key material into actual keys of your desired length. <laughs>